everyone and welcome to the Tarot Magicians Emporium. My name is Natalie and today we're taking a look at the Aboriginal Ancestral Wisdom Oracle by Mel Brown. Before we get started, just a quick reminder that I do uh, include the Amazon and Etsy link in the description down below in case you want to uh, find out more about the deck or purchase it. If you do use the link to purchase the deck, we do make a small commission, which we use to invest right back into the channel to create more content, more content for you. Now, if you're new around here, this channel is dedicated to all things Oracle and Tarot decks. And if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So let's go ahead and get started with this deck. I'm a little excited about this one. Um, I, 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 don't, I haven't seen any other uh, deck out there themed, uh, that's themed uh, from, uh, that's Aboriginal themed uh, from the Aboriginal uh, culture in Australia. They're actually the most, the oldest uh, living, uh, uh, people in the world so let's go ahead and take a look so right off the bat I want to tell you this this uh, this has texture to it I don't know if you can see it you see so it's got texture to it you know and it, I don't know it kind of reminds me of like you know like a snake or like like a lizard or you know that kind of thing so I like leather. Hmm. Here we have the book. Oh, I forgot to show you the back. Here's the back. Sorry about that. This is by Rockpool Publishing. They always have good quality decks, I think. Very interesting decks, I think. All right, so we'll take a look at the deck. Later, let's go ahead and look at the book first. Let's see what you get with this deck. All right. So, the book is 104 pages. And by the way, the book itself is also textured, which is pretty cool. And I don't know, it just kind of feels like, you know, like good quality, like good quality little book. All right, so here we have the table of contents. And as you can see, it is color. The book is color, which I love. Who doesn't? Okay, and then table of content. Hmm. It says, we would like to acknowledge the First Nations people of the of all the countries across the world our aboriginal countries within this great nation of australia are many and have been cared for by our ancestors of the past who we pay our respects to and thank to their courage to survive which has been passed on to us today's first nations peoples across the world continue to share their knowledge and wisdom with our younger ones in the hope that these teachings and learnings help grow strengthen and resilience within our young people so that they too can pass this on to the future generations to come our hope is that we all walk together as our as other brothers and sisters to create a world that lives together as one wow i really like that i mean i really i am a person that absolutely loves learning about different cultures and um i feel that preserving culture historical culture is very important and um yeah it seems like this is what they're trying to do with this they're trying to pass on the wisdom and knowledge uh, of the aboriginal people from australia okay so we have an introduction Explaining the different sections of the uh, Oracle deck. How to use the cards. And some tarot spreads, which are always great. Meditation to meet your ancestor. That's a little extra bonus. I like that. Right. And then here we start with the, with the uh, meanings of the cards. So I don't want to spoil the cards because we'll be looking at them later. Okay, and then 
here's the author and how everything about her or just a little something about her and then we have some other publications from by Mel Brown so she does have other Aboriginal themed uh, Oracle decks um, that have come out in the past so if you're interested in that there you have it I, I have not, had never seen one before um, but I, I really do think it's very very interesting and I'm excited to learn more about the culture and more about the wisdom that um, the Aboriginal people have to offer so let's go ahead and take a look at the deck all right so you zoom out a little bit cool back the orange color just reminds me of like the desert in, in Australia and so it's it's got uh there there it's slippery it's a shiny uh kind of deck uh but they don't they're not sticking together they're just kind of slippery and the cardstock is very good um not too stiff not too flimsy just right perfect so let's go ahead and take a look at the beautiful artwork okay so it looks like we have um there's a, a a shadow and a light side to this deck i'm gonna put this side upright for, for on this side so first up we have belonging and the shadow is abandoned. Okay, acknowledgement and challenged. Nurture and discourage, encourage and frustrated, hope, hopelessness, perceptive. Misunderstood, timid, reckless, insight, unaware, responsible, unreliable strength and weakness so that was the freshwater wisdom and now we're moving on to the saltwater wisdom cards and we have proud and ashamed exciting bored calm and chaotic blessed and desecrated, satisfied, and disappointed, motivated, and inert, joyful, and sad, Confident, and uncertain, wisdom, and unwise, 
peaceful and violent, serene, agitated. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is the desert wisdom. Now the red ones are the desert wisdom. I forgot to say. All right. So impulsive and cautious, reassured, concerned, possibilities, with forbidden, passionate, indifferent, fascinated, repelled, optimistic, solemn, Delighted, sorrowful, awakening, suppressed, renewed, weary. And then we have the rainforest wisdom with accepting and disbelief, content, and displeasure. Next up we have brave and fearful. Curious and insecure, understanding, mistake, amazed, shocked. Ungrateful, inspired, unimaginative, reliable, variable, astonished, And vulnerable. All right, so there you have it the Aboriginal Ancestral Wisdom Oracle. Um, very cool deck. Um, I, I am really excited to work with this one, learn more about this culture and the wisdom that they have to offer. Let's go ahead and shuffle <coughs> and see. How the, the writing in the book is for each deck, for each card I mean. And by the way, these shuffle great. Um, although they are on the slippery side, um, they're not too uh, slippery. They're not going all over the place. The size is pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and draw a card. And we have hope and hopeless. So let's go ahead and look in the book. This is number five. All right. So the book contains uh, a meaning for, for each of uh, the light and shadow side. And there you can pause and read it if you wish.
Here's an example of another card uh, from a different section. Then from this section and from the greens as well, which is the, the uh, rainforest. So there you have it. Let me know in the descriptions down below. What are your thoughts on this one? Um, definitely a unique deck. Um, if you are a collector or if you're interested in learning about new cultures, uh, this might be a good one for you. Um, definitely interesting. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? And um, I will be including the Amazon and Etsy links for this deck in the description down below in case you want to find out more about the deck. And if you do use the, the link to purchase a deck, we do make a small commission at no cost, extra cost uh, to you, which um, which we use to invest right back into the channel to buy more decks and equipment and everything that goes into uh, running uh, this channel. But if you want to support us in a non-monetary way, you can definitely do that by uh, subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button for this video, commenting down below, and maybe even sharing this with someone. So let me know. And uh, thank you so much for your, for your support and your love. We really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.